Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll make a barbecue fish hot pot. In case you bought too much food, just like I did, this video will be a little bit longer than normal. But once you learn this one, you can totally invite your friend to your house for hot pot in the future. Let's check it out. First, of course, you need a fish you like. Someone like to cut barbecue fish from this side, but my fish is already cleaned when I bought it. This saved me a lot of time. We will cut from the other side since that's the way they clean the fish. This is white bass. Score both sides of the fish like this. Then put some salt. Sichuan pepper corn, ginger slices, green onion, and cooking oil. Add some water and put some of the ginger and green onion in the gap. Cover it and refrigerate it overnight. Here are the ingredients for hot pot. You can choose whatever veggies in your fridge or whatever you like. These mushrooms are for soup base. You can use pork bones, beef bones, or chicken bone soup as well. Ginger, garlic, onion, green onion, carrots, bell pepper, and celery are used for more flavor. First, soak these dry mushroom into water. Use a small plate to push them under water. This is a compressed wood ear mushroom. They will puff up a lot later. Let's make some spices for the fish. Heat up a pan. Do not add oil. Add in some cumin, dry red pepper, Sichuan pepper corn. Use low heat to toast the spices a little bit. The purpose of this process is to get rid of some moisture in them and get enhanced flavor. Set them on a piece of paper and let them cool down. Let's go check out the fish. This fish has been in the fridge for one night. Take it out from the water. Get rid of the spices, ginger, and green onion. Preheat oven to 475. The next step is the most challenging one today. Flatten the fish. Start from the bottom. Slice one side of the meat right next to the main bone in the center of the fish. Do not cut it through. Leave the skin connected. Then change into a smaller knife and break the bones of one side little by little like this. For the head, use a big knife and break it. Be careful. You can put a paper towel under the fish to make it less slippery. If you don't want the head, you can remove it. Next, slice the meat off the bones like this. You can also break with your hands a little bit. Slice the meat more to make it all the way flat, just like this. Dry the both sides with a paper towel. Let's go back to the spices. Grind them with any tool you like. 
If you are using the same thing I have, a piece of tissue can prevent things from jumping out. You don't have to grind them too fine. Transfer them into a bowl or an empty bottle. Then add some salt, about half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon five spice or peppercorn powder, quarter teaspoon white peppercorn powder, a little bit rock salt if you have, quarter teaspoon fresh grinded black pepper. Mix with the spice in the bottle. Sprinkle the spices on the inner of the fish. Then rub a little bit. Add a little bit smoked paprika if you have some. Cover a baking sheet with aluminum foil and set a cooling sheet on it. Brush some oil so the fish won't stick on it. Add more spices if you like. Put the fish on the sheet. Put the side with the spices down, the skin side up. Brush some oil on the skin. Then bake for 20 minutes at 475F. Let's go chop some veggies while the fish is baking. Tear apart the needle mushroom into small bundles. Chop the king oyster mushroom into smaller pieces. Divide into two portions. One's for soup, the other one's for the hot pot. Chop the mushroom soaked in water too. I forgot to shoot this part. Before chopping other veggies, let's make a mushroom soup for later use. Take a pot, add the mushroom we chopped, water, citron pepper core, fennel seed, a little bit salt, cook with low heat, simmer until the hot pot is ready. Then go back to chop. Chop the bottom of garlic and break them in half. Cut the ginger skin and slice into pieces. Chop the white part of green onion into 1 inch long pieces and chop green part into rings. Chop one onion into 1 inch pieces. Slice lotus root into about 3 mm slices. Cover them with water. Thinly slice the potato, 1 to 2 mm thin. We want it to be cooked fast. Put them in water too. Chop sweet potato into about 1 cm thin pieces. Give them a nice bath too. Thinly slice the carrot. Chop bell pepper into half inch pieces. Here is a way to make the celery more tender. Then chop the celery into 1 inch long pieces. Chop spicy peppers into rings. You can skip this if you don't like spicy food. Next, chop the greens. Choose whatever veggies you like. Chop some cilantro if you like. Here comes something I planted. Guess what's this? It's bean sprouts!
they are a little bit crazy. Wow, this one looks like a dragon. Cut the extra long and thin part. Take all of them out, then give this guy a haircut. I hope he likes his new hairstyle. <laughs> These are what we got with one third cup of green beans. Leave a comment down below if you want to know how to make this. Heat up a small pot. Cook the needle mushroom and bean sprouts. Cook about one minute for both. Then put them on the bottom of an electrical pot or hot pot. Leave it aside and go check the fish. Brush more oil, then sprinkle some spices we made on this side too. Put it back to oven. Broil for another 5 minutes with low setting. Next, cook the veggies. Here are the sauces. Heat up a big pan with low heat. Add some oil. A little bit more than normal. Cook the crystal sugar first. Then add in dried red pepper citron pepper corn and fennel seed. Remember to use low heat, otherwise they may get burned and become bitter. Then add in paprika. Here I use sweet paprika for both the flavor and nice red color. Then add in the broad bean paste. Cook a little Then add in the fermented black beans. Put in ginger and garlic. Cook until you can smell the garlic. Then add in onion and green onion. Then they are incorporated with the sauce well. Add in celery bell pepper and carrots. Cook a little bit then add in the potato and lotus root. Then pour the vodka from the side of the pan. Put in salt and white peppercorn powder. Mix well. Add in oyster sauce. Next, add in brown soy sauce and soy sauce. Cook until the potato is soft. You don't need to cook all these perfectly since they will cook further in the hot pot. Put in MSG at the end. Set it aside for later use. The fish should be done now. If you don't want hot pot, you can eat the fish directly. You don't need to prepare any veggies for hot pot. But we will have hot pot today. Transfer the fish into the pot with the needle mushroom and bean sprouts carefully. Then topping the fish with the veggies we cooked. Sprinkle with green onion, spicy pepper, cilantro, and some sesame seed. It 
it's good to go. Serve the barbecue fish with other veggies we prepared. Add a little bit mushroom soup we prepared and eat the fish first. You can use some bone soup if you like. The flavor is very complex. It's even too complex to describe. My husband said it's not like anything he had ever had before. It's bursting with flavor. The only way to understand this is to make it yourself. After eating all the fish, add some soup in and start to enjoy your fish hot pot. I always eat too much when I have this. You can enjoy the fish and the hot pot with some rice too. I hope you like it. This is today's video. Please hit subscribe and the like button if you enjoyed it. Stay safe and healthy under this pandemic. Thanks for watching and see you next time.